Hey, what's up Card Guard? Jimbo here, back with another opening. This time not of a booster box. I'm going to be opening this Tyranitar tin. It's the uh, Summer V Strikers tin. There's one of Empoleon and one of Tyranitar. I do have both, um, but I'm only gonna be opening the Tyranitar. I wanna make sure, I wanna order some, some others because I wanna keep one sealed for the collection. Though I'm not a fan of this very goofy factory seal method that they're using that doesn't even seal the entire thing, but nonetheless, let's get right into it. Um, this is a tin, so it's not gonna have all the same stuff. It's not gonna have all the same packs. So yeah, I'm actually gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the promo card in there for now, just because I want to, uh, I'm gonna keep it in there. I'm just gonna keep it in there for now. I'm gonna put it like this so that when I close up the tin, the promo can still be in there. I mean, I might sleeve it or whatever, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what I decide to do. So, of course, we're gonna have some battle styles. We got two battle styles, one Darkness of Blaze, one sword, oh, and two Sword and Shield. Okay, so I'd actually heard that some people were getting uh, Sun and Moon packs, some people getting like Celestial Storm or uh, the other one, Guardians Rising, I believe. Um, but it looks like I myself was not so fortunate, which is fine, which is fine. Because I don't have any of these. I only have the Chilling Rain. And I mean, I've been getting a lot of stuff. If you follow me on Instagram at Stimulus, Jimmy's TCG, you'll see uh, that I've been definitely getting some stuff for the collection. Um, trying to keep them sealed for now because I want to have a sealed collection, but I also want to open stuff. Um, and for anybody that feels a certain way about sealed stuff, I just want one of. It looks cool. I'm not about to hoard a tower of boxes, but but it looks cool. I want to open one for the channel and also have one to, to keep sealed in the background in future videos when I have a space. So, let's start off with the Forbidden set. Um, I have no personal grievances with Battle Styles because that looks... Hmm. Why does that look so weird? I mean, I know the seller I bought these from is reliable, so I'm not really... Mm, actually, that seems like... Blue. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's not it's not super normal. But let's see. It could just be a it could just be a funky pack. So we have Steel Energy, Carcol, more Peko. Durant, Hajirisu, Cherubi, Mian Fu, Rapid Strike, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Silicobra, Reverse Hollow, Licky Licky, and a Mian Shao, Rapid Strike. So I am going to keep, I'm going to hide the, uh, the color of the code cards from y'all. so as to avoid any uh, sadness of leaking what is in the uh, pack. So we've got Water Energy, Level Ball, more Peko. I love more Peko. Tool Jammer, Lick a Tongue to go with that Licky Licky, Horsey, Single Strike Mankey, Single Strike Mawwow. I love the art for Mawwow and that Single Strike card. Femantis. Reverse Hollow, Rapid Strike Phalanx, the boys, and another Licky Licky, this time not a Reverse Hollow. Alright, alright, alright. So our Battle Styles pulls were doo doo, and that's fine. Um, let's do Sword and Shield. Oh dear. You know, I prefer to open the pack like, like so. And then I'll boom. There we go. I like to do everything on camera. I don't know why, but for the sake of not spoiling the code card, we got Psychic Energy, Heat More, Pokey Kid, Air Balloon, Yamper, Silicobra, Score Bunny, Cottony, Galarian Ponyta, Reverse Hollow Muna, and a Graplocked. 
see if we can get a clob of this. Why does this feel so... Pokemon is so weird, it feels so stiff sometimes. Fire Energy, Quillfish, Citrus Berry, Palpad, Ferrisseed, Roselia, beautiful art for Roselia. We got a Rhyhorn, Sobble, Grookey, Cinderace, and it's a reverse hollow Cinderace. That's dope. And a full art in DDV. Now, I do not know at first glance if this is hype. I'm willing to bet my entire life that it's not. I'm willing to bet my entire life that it's not. Um, let's actually pull it up just briefly in DDV. I'm willing to bet my life it's a no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not. There's no way. Uh, let's check the other one. That's the correct one. Yeah, no, it's not. But that's okay, because it's a full art. I'm not gonna sleeve it just yet. I'll probably just throw it in the binder. And let's see what this Darkness of Blaze pack holds for us. When I uh, originally was playing PTCGO more actively, um, I, I started like around when uh, Darkness of Blaze packs were like the hot currency. So let's see what this holds for us. We got Fighting Energy, we got Simi Seer, the Brava. Cape of Toughness. Can I get a secret rare Cape of Toughness? We got Galarian Mr. Mime, Electrike, Dunsparce. Actually, I don't know if the secret rare of that of Cape of Toughness, if Toughness is in this set. We got Bon Sweet. We got Aaron. Ooh, the reverse Hollow Marini. I love Marini so much. I did not care about Marini until Sword and Shield. I don't know what happened. Marini just grew on me. Um, and then I, I struggled and, and read repeatedly to get the. Uh, a good uh, six IV Marini, which is dope. I still have to try and get a uh, a shiny, a six IV shiny Toxapex. I need to get back on that game. Um, you know, I know how, how certain people feel about it, but like the breeding was made so easy and it made it accessible for someone like me who'd never engaged with Pokemon breeding to kind of uh, check it out. And I enjoyed it a lot. So let's see, this is our last pack and it's our last pull. It is... A Galarian Stunfisk V, which I can, I bet my life, I have bet my life, this is nothing to be excited about. Galarian Stunfisk V, yeah, it's not, but that's okay. I, you know what the problem is? I don't even like, I hate Stun, I hate Stunfisk. Stunfisk is just one of those designs that I'm just not here for at all. I actually prefer the Ndidi a lot more. Um, so that's dope. So we got, uh, we got two, uh, two Vs. I'm down with that. I can live with it. It wasn't the great pulls. It wasn't the greatest pulls, rather. Um, as far as the code cards, I'm kind of trying to decide what I'm going to do with them. More specifically, what I mean is that I, I'm thinking about maybe doing openings on PTCGO, um, as well as playing PTCGO. PCGO again in my own time. I don't know if I would be streaming or recording that on the channel. That depends. Um, I usually play on my tablet, but I could always play on my laptop or, or a desktop. Um, but I'm going to see. So I want to hold on to them for now because I, I always used to buy the codes and now I'm opening packs and it seems kind of counterintuitive to buy the to buy the codes when I when they're literally coming with my packs. So I'm going to I'm going to see about that. Uh, for that reason, obviously, I won't be posting this in free code uh, forums and resources. To anyone who is here hoping for free codes, I'm sorry about that. I might do giveaways in the future of codes, depending what I decide to do with them. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to hold on to them. Um, but yeah, so that was dope. I mean, it wasn't... Look, the polls were not spectacular. But I am really happy with the Marini and the Cinderace. Um, if you are just coming here from uh, for Pokemon videos and you haven't seen some of the Vanguard videos, especially the early ones, I reiterate constantly that for me, uh, I collect a lot for the art. So, you know, you're not going to catch me like 
really getting super bummed out. Like, I mean, obviously you, you kind of want that, that return on investment, you know, which like I say that and I do track the values of the cars on the channel. Nothing in this video was a five and up club member, which is unfortunate, but, but for me, who's just starting a Pokemon collection, pretty much anything is exciting <laughs> just because just because it's there just because I'm building I'm starting a Pokemon collection which is awesome uh, after all these years of, of thinking about it and, and just not jumping in so uh, you know it's getting a bit easier to get Pokemon cards out there guys so just you know if you're uh, if you're looking to hop in and you're intimidated by what you've heard it's it can be rough it can be rough but there are there are you know third party sellers that are reliable out there. You just you just gotta do your research and do some digging. Uh, you know get few you know you'll really familiarize yourself with the do's and don'ts of eBay and stuff like that. If you're to hop in now, or if you're lucky, you live in a town where you actually can catch like Target and Walmart and GameStop restocks. So if that's the case for you, you're incredibly lucky. Um, but yeah, that's all for now, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a bit shorter, um, but I often find that uh, you know people. People don't always stay till the end. That's just the nature of YouTube. You know, very few people watch an entire video. So I want to see if I can maybe start shortening the videos a bit. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about that down below, especially y'all who have been around for, you know, the 20 to 40 minute videos. Let me know if you guys mind shorter videos. Um, and we'll see what happens. This, uh, this is going to probably be my one video of the week. Uh, I will probably be posting it after Monday, which you'll clearly be aware of by the time you see it. Um, I might be doing one, uh, one video a week for a little bit because there's a lot coming out and I might actually post a list of my upcoming sets to be, uh, to be into on my Instagram. Uh, so definitely follow me there if you want to have an idea of what I'm interested in. I will probably post that list and you'll get an idea of the oncoming storm that is approaching my bank account. <laughs> So, so definitely uh, stay tuned, and if you guys stuck it to the end and you listen to all this fluff commentary, you know, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it, because I like to communicate with you guys, and I like to hear your opinions on, uh, on what I'm doing and where I'm going with the channel. So uh, that's all for now, folks. Have a good one. Jimbo out.